some stretch, uh, some leather over it, right. hide, and then they use that to make uh, to make sounds. And at that point, that was new technology, mm -hmm. you know. And I wonder if the people that were banging on rock said, "That's nothing," you know. These people are less creative, you know, because I was making those sounds from rocks, <laughs> you know. And here you have created something to make the sounds that I was creating through rocks. And so I, I, I always wonder if we have that same mentality. Like there are people who say that people are less <coughs> of photographers because of the technology through digital cameras and editing, right. you know? And I, I don't necessarily know if that's true or not, if we're less creative mm -hmm. um, because of technology, or if technology just opened up more doors for us to expand on creativity. It's, it's a really interesting kind of dynamic and, and an argument, you know, debate. And I don't know if there's a right or wrong, but oh, yeah. um, technology is definitely effective. I think that's, yeah. without, a, without a doubt, um, something that cannot be argued. Uh, it, it has affected... Uh, creativity has affected our, our ability to be artists in, in, in multiple ways. So, um, but how? I think that's well, not just how, but whether that's a good thing or bad thing. I think that's up to the individual perspective. Yes. And, um, no, I think it also. Just, I mean, it's obvious, but it puts everything out there just on a mass level, where like normally, you know, what you do as an artist, you can express with just those around you. Now you can share it with the whole entire world like yeah. Instant. it's crazy Instagram, right? yeah insta yep. <laughs> insta yep. <laughs> that's Insta-art. it just puts everything out there on like a grand scale where mm -hmm. we didn't have that before mm -hmm. so it it's totally affected it yeah definitely so, yeah technology has advanced the way that we uh, the way that we present ourselves and our material right um, my take on it, see, I'm not, not only do I play drums, but I'm a, I'm a builder, I'm a carpenter, I do things with my hands, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very physical kind of guy, I like to do things. Yeah, he likes to use yeah. those meat hooks. Yeah, and so, <laughs> and so for me, technology, uh, technology is great for other people, mm -hmm. that's fine, I like to break it down to the basic, you know, right. get back, because like Amir was saying, there's... First we're hitting rocks, then we're hollowing out tubes, then we're doing these, and, and, mm -hmm. and what we're doing is we're creating redundant systems. Right. Redundant systems upon redundant systems now. Right. And over years and over years, we've, we've created so many different ways to play a saxophone, right. to present a saxophone sound now. What's wrong with playing it basic? What's wrong with, what's wrong with being organic about it again, you know? Mm -hmm. To me, that's, that's fine. I, I, I get where technology is advancing the way that we can communicate and the way that we can create and the ability for so many people to create. Because it's a do-it-yourself world now. Right. Anybody can make, can make music in their closet. You can get yeah. good quality sound out of your closet now. And you can send right. this music out and sell 